This video, we're going to concentrate on lipid management and cholesterol. It's easy if we split it up into primary prevention and secondary prevention. The idea of primary prevention is to identify and prevent people from having cardiovascular events later down the line. NICE recommends the use of a Q risk calculator, an online calculator that takes into account multiple physiological and physical measures to provide a 10 year cardiovascular risk profile. It should only be used in patients between 40 and 85 years old, and NICE recommend anyone with a Q risk of above 10% should be initiated on a statin, usually 20 mg of atorvastatin, and then titrated upwards depending on the repeated values. This, of course, is a combined decision with the patient, with often lifestyle changes used first. It should be noted that most people with chronic kidney disease and type 1 diabetes should be given a statin regardless as primary prevention. There are a few caveats, however, to the Q-risk, and it should be used in caution with people with HIV or severe mental health problems or systemic disorders, as it may greatly underestimate their cardiovascular risk. Secondary prevention is a little more straightforward, with the current guidance being that all patients with established cardiovascular disease given 80 mg in the absence of any contraindications of a tool of statin for at least one year. Once started on a statin, we should repeat lipid profiles at three months, and if there hasn't been a reduction of a non-HDL profile of 40%, then dose titration and reaffirmation of lifestyle changes should be taken. We often talk about lifestyle interventions, and for the purpose for both your career and your exam, you should know the basics with the current recommendations. Currently, the UK guidance is 150 minutes of moderate aerobic exercise per week or 75 minutes of vigorous exercise, two sessions a week of resistance training, eating five portions of fruit and veg a day, total fat and sugar reduction, grain variants where possible, weight monitoring, alcohol restriction to 14 units a week maximum regardless of male or female, and encouraging stopping smoking. And finally, let's cover metabolic syndrome in a nutshell. There is varying definitions of metabolic syndrome, but an important guidance for diagnosis is a sign guidance, and they define it as a waist circumference of above 102 cm in men, or above 88 cm in women, elevated triglycerides above 1.7, reduced HDLs, raised blood pressure, or raised fasting glucose, or known diabetics. Metabolic syndrome obviously has ramifications with a greater increased risk of cardiovascular disease, and therefore the lifestyle interventions mentioned earlier are really important to prevent their cardiovascular risk profile. And that's that. That's a very quick overview on lipid management and cholesterol and primary care, and I hope you find some things useful for the AKT as well. If you found this useful, like and subscribe, and click the notifications button to not miss any upcoming videos. Leave some comments below for any questions or queries, but otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.